Can Steve Smith, Captain Australia, again? I don't want to go into the specifics of um, sanctions and issues that might be covered there. It's not, it's not appropriate at this stage. Um, the big picture is that uh, players, three players have been reported um, and we'll deal with finalising the report and sanctions later. Uh, may I ask whose idea was it? I mean, that is something that the investigation will look determined by. Uh, again, I'd, there, there are issues that I can't go into because we're, we're in the midst of process. Um, I suspect some of that will come out in due, in due course, but uh, it's not appropriate because uh, of the, the technical nature of things, the process that we're working through, uh, for me to divulge um, details of, of the investigation. Has the team become arrogant? I think, uh, I think this... Um, this is a reminder to us of, of the importance of uh, how Australian cricket fans want their their players to to behave. They want them to be what they want to be proud of of their players. And clearly, a situation like this is uh, is extraordinarily bad uh, for Australian cricket. And I share, as I said earlier on, the anger and disappointment of Australian cricket fans in regard to this behaviour. James, can the culture and image of the Australian team be reshaped with Darren as the coach? And we can discuss that with him. Uh, look, Dan, I haven't, I haven't gone into any detail, to be, to be honest. Um, I've, I've arrived in South Africa early this morning. Ian Roy hasn't even been in the country for 24 hours and has worked very hard on that. I think first things first, we're uh, trying to deal with um, reporting issues and, and then sanctions, and we understand the urgency around that, um, the, the need for all of you and others to, to know where we're up to. That's the real focus right now, and as I said, uh, later on, we'll work through process around um, that um, th that review uh, that I mentioned earlier. James, there's one word you haven't mentioned. Did they cheat in your eyes? Is this cheating? Th this is this is not in the laws of the game. It is not in the spirit of the game. And again, I am angry and disappointed. It is not a good day for Australian cricket. James, um, what's the attitude to the other players in the team who've been dragged into this by like those three teammates? Uh, it's difficult for me to say. Um, I haven't, I haven't spoken to, um, I haven't spoken to everyone in the team. I've, I've spoken to a limited few, uh, but it's, um, I, I can only imagine. But uh, I think it's better that you ask them. James, do you get the feeling this is an isolated incident, or has it uh, happened previously? Uh, look, I think the the feeling the feeling from from Ian in his review is that it's a, it's an isolated incident. But um, again, there are things that uh, I don't want to go into too much detail around right now. But um, I certainly hope it's an isolated incident. Uh, but uh, it's certainly one of significant concern. Hi, there's some um, accusations of the culture of arrogance and even nastiness that's entered the Australian cricket team. Um, given that, have you considered your own position? Uh, look, at the end of the day, we want Australian cricket fans to be proud of the Australian cricket team. Uh, we're all responsible in that regard, and we will all uh, ensure that we take the necessary steps to address that. James, how many players were interviewed during the process? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not, not sure off the top of my head, but most of the players were. Uh, yes, and, and again, I don't, I don't want to go into the specifics, um, the detail, because that's not appropriate. That's Ian Roy's domain, uh, and uh, it's better. But I, I can say that, uh, as I touched on earlier on, um, Ian has covered a lot of ground in, sh in the short space of time that he's been here, and he was, through all of the interviews yesterday, accompanied by the two integrity officers from the ICC. James, will this spark a, a review like we saw in 2011, the Argus review? Uh, I think, Sam, we haven't, we haven't had a chance to really consider properly how, um, how that will be dealt with. I think by the time we get to our next board meeting face-to-face, um, -face, we'll have that considered and, uh, and be working through that. But as I touched on earlier on, um, in, in the short space of time since Saturday, we've been very focused on trying to get to the bottom of... Uh, what happened on Saturday uh, to take the necessary action that we deem appropriate, which is obviously first things first, 
making reports and, uh, and sanctions to come. James, can you explain your reaction quickly, Australia, to Steve's comments on Saturday that if it was a mistake, the team would get over it, he would get over it, everything would move on? Do you think that was a severe underestimation of the severity of, of the scandal? Is that disappointing and make you angry? Yes. Um, and James, please clarify, Darren Lehman offered to resign. Darren Lehman has not offered to resign, as far as I'm aware. Uh, certainly not to me. James, what about uh, consideration of the no objection certificates for the IPL for the players that are not leaving, particularly Captain? Uh, there are certain grounds uh, in regards to no objection certificates. I'm not sure this qualifies, but um, if there are significant suspensions that flow from this, um, that I guess ultimately will then be a matter for the uh, BCCI and the IPL. Do you find it uh, bitterly ironic that in a certain light Steve Smith showed enormous leadership by fessing up and not just letting his junior player take the blame for that? That's the sort of leader you did have. Do you find that ironic? Uh, ironic, I'm not sure that's the word I'd use, but um, there, are, there are elements of of courage and leadership that have been shown in this, and there are others uh, where, where other decisions have, could, could have been made at other times that have led us to be in the position that we're in. James, commercially, how much is this likely to hurt Australian cricket? And I'm thinking more around cricket development and women's cricket, which has just started to do really well globally. I think uh, it's very, very difficult to, to quantify that, uh, but uh, I wouldn't in any way want to under, underestimate the damage that it causes to the, to the game. And, and ultimately, in my view, what we are all about as an organisation is about inspiring kids to love cricket. And if this has damaged uh, the ability of cricket as a sport to inspire kids to play the game and love the game and idolise their heroes, then uh, it's, a, it's a sorry state and we need to do everything we can to repair that damage. Uh, James, I, mean, I noticed you wouldn't use the cheating word, but if it wasn't cheating, what was it? And, and have these guys apologised to their teammates as well? I, I don't know about I don't know about the sec second part of your question, but uh, clearly, clearly we are not at all comfortable with uh, what has taken place. Uh, we have we have conducted an investigation. We have made reports and sanctions will be issued tomorrow and they'll be significant. James. And that will reflect the gravity of the situation. James, so to push you on this, you've gone an awful long way to, you know, to try and give us clarity on this and you've, you've conducted, obviously, interviews. Can you not just give us a yes or no answer? Is this cheating? This is not in the laws of the game, it's not in the spirit of the game. Oh. James, have you, um, have you spoken to Steve today and just how is his sort of mental state and how shattered is he at the prospect of losing the captaincy? Um, oh, look, I think everyone's affected by it. Um, uh, certainly the, the three players concerned, I haven't seen all three of them, but I've certainly seen Sp Steve and um, he's, he's distraught, very upset. And do you believe David Warner can come and play again given the relationship that you know, how it's deteriorated with some of his teammates? I'm not aware of that, but um, I'm not sure of the relevance of that. Plus four, Jim, there, Jeff, and Daniel. James, uh, how much do you take into account the words of the Prime Minister and his criticism, and uh, how will that impact on your sanctions for these players? Um, I think, as you know, Jim, um, from the Prime Minister down, there have been views and opinions expressed and uh, that's, a, that's a measure and an indication of the standing of the game of cricket and the Australian cricket team in the eyes of the Australian public and everyone's entitled to, to those opinions. Uh, uh, on balance, um, we, will, we need to make a judgement that's in the best interest of the game and uh, that will be based on a whole lot of things. Um, the Prime Minister's comments are only one of... Uh, hundreds of thousands, millions of Australians' views, and uh, we need to make judgments uh, that are in the best interest of the game. I just want to pin you down on this one, James. You said they've broken the laws of the game, <coughs> they've broken the spirit of the game. 
You haven't mentioned the word cheating. Sorry, James. They've, broke, they've broken the rules. No, no, no. no, 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 no they've no, broken the rules. Jeff, they've broken the rules. Jeff, is it cheating? He's answered the question. He's yeah. answered it. No, he hasn't. He's, 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 he's broken the rules. Time, so is it cheating? Jeff? He hasn't answered it. James, the players involved lied to the umpires in the middle. They came and gave a press conference. It was misleading where they wouldn't admit that David Warner was involved. How can anyone have any confidence that they'll be truthful in the investigation process? Well, it's, uh, that's up to Ian Roy to make those judgments, and uh, he's, he's experienced in regards to these investigations as to the people that, uh, from the ICC that were there, and it's a matter of process that he works through in corroborating evidence and coming to a level of satisfaction about his findings, and that's exactly what he's done. Um, James, um, you, were in, you were involved in 2003 in drafting a spirit of cricket document with the team. And it was also a pillar for some years of the strategy that you had for Australian cricket. It hasn't been on there more recently. Do you think the organisation has gotten away from that? Uh, I, I regard the spirit of cricket as being extremely important. And um, I, as, as we know, those of us that know the game and love the game know uh, that it's beholden on everyone that plays the game to uphold the spirit of, of, of cricket. Uh, the responsibilities of the captain are higher than anyone. And, uh, uh, and the leaders as well. But um, certainly that is something that is uh, really important to the game of cricket and in some ways separates it from other sports and that's uh, part of uh, what hurts right now. James, other international players from other countries have been found guilty of ball tampering in the past and got away with fines from the ICC. What is it about this situation that prompted such outrage from the Australian public and why are you contemplating such serious punishments? Uh, look, I think that it's uh, it's a it's an issue of, of great proportion because of the standing of cricket uh, in the eyes of the Australian public, and not only that, the Australian cricket team, and uh, that I, I think that response is is not terribly surprising. It's a reminder of how important the game of cricket is to the Australian cricket fans, and it's also a reminder to us as to how important it is to rebuild that confidence, trust and confidence and pride in the Australian cricket team going forward. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thank you.